Go to your tracker by selecting the blue button above the standards progress chart. Decide on the tab you wish to upload your document to. Evidence will be uploaded to the relevant teacher's standards from 1 to 8 or part 2 tabs. PDPs, PLRs, mentor observations, timetables, training logs and any other general course documents you wish to store will be uploaded to the course documentation tab. Your termly summative reports and, if you are a QTS trainee, your second school placements reports should be uploaded to the summative report tab. Please note that summative reports written by your mentor or tutor must be uploaded by the person who wrote them. To upload course documents, select the course documentation tab, which will bring you to this screen. First, select the evidence type. This will give a drop down menu of all the options available. Select the type of document you are uploading, for example, a PDP. The Select Evidence box will now say Select PDPs, and clicking on this box will allow you to select the document for upload. Please ensure all file names include the date, and for your lesson observations, also the year group in which you were observed. Once uploaded, the ePortfolio will confirm that this has been successful. If you want to upload more of the same document type, simply click on Select PDPs and navigate again. If you wish to upload a different type, go back to the Evidence drop-down box. Having uploaded your document, you can return to your main page by selecting the Back To button. If you now select an evidence type to review, for example PDPs, all the documents you have identified as PDPs will be listed here. To upload evidence, select one of the eight Teacher Standards tabs, which will bring you to a screen like this. To start with, you will see only the blue crosses at the familiarization level. Selecting the cross puts a tick into the Teacher Verification box and a blue cross will appear at the next level. Once familiarization and consolidation descriptors are ticked, an Add Evidence to Proceed button will appear at minimum requirement level. To upload evidence, click on this button and in the same way as for course documentation, you will need to go to Please Select Evidence Type and select Evidence Template. Now go to Select Evidence box and this will allow you to choose a document to upload. Once complete, return to your tracker by selecting the Back to Tracker button. The blue cross has now appeared next to the verification boxes and selecting this will tick the teacher box. Only one piece of evidence per descriptor can be uploaded. If you need to add more, your original document must be removed, amended and then re-uploaded. The font in each of the descriptors you have now ticked will appear brown in colour until all three ticks are present when it will turn green. The good and outstanding levels remain grey and will not allow you to add evidence until you have completed all three lower levels and part two has been fully verified. To upload your summative report at the end of term or your second school placement reports if you are on the QTS course, select the summative reports tab which will bring you to this screen. Under the appropriate assessment point, and in a similar way to the course documents and evidence uploads, first select the evidence type as summative reports and then find your document for upload. Second school placement reports should also be labelled as summative reports and uploaded here.